This year's No Rules was very special to us because it wasn't like any other No Rules we've ever had. Um, because of everything that's happening in Iran and because of the Women Life Freedom Movement, we felt that the No Rules concert needs something that pays homage to all the individuals in Iran who have given up their lives and who are fighting for freedom. So this year's concert was all about unity for freedom and we invited three spectacular female Iranian artists to perform tonight as our special guest, uh, Ms. Azam Ali, Ms. Susan Dehim and Ms. Tara Qasemieh, who really did an amazing job, each one really uplifting the voice of Iran and Iranians, especially Iranian women, and I couldn't be happier and more thankful. It was such an honor to have all these incredible artists here tonight. And of course, we were delighted to once again have Maestro Shahdad Rohani with us to perform and guest conduct along with Carl Sinclair and the Pacific Symphony Orchestra for like one of the most moving concert experiences I have ever attended. And last but not least, the master himself, Mr. Kehan Kalhor, graced us with the second half of the concert with truly powerful and moving uh, performances. And I can't thank him enough. I can't thank the Carl St. Clair and the entire Pacific Symphony Orchestra and the entire organization for partnering with Farhang Foundation in presenting this incredible night, this powerful night. And I thank everyone who attended this evening's concert. And really, we are proud of everyone, and our thoughts uh, are with everyone in Iran. And we hope to have a bigger celebration next year for No Rules, where we can celebrate a bright future for Iran. I want to express my profound appreciation for an amazing organization, Farhang Foundation, its executive director, Ali Reza Arkhani. They did an amazing job of marketing the concert, helping us curate the artistry. Thank you, Ali Reza. We really appreciate it. With warmest greetings to all of our guests who have joined us tonight for no new celebration this year. As I recited a few verses from Rumi, Reminding us that no rules, the ancient celebration of Iranians across the globe will never pause for any ruler, belief system, government, or religion. <laughs> It was such a great honor for me to be part of this historic uh, event tonight with Faring Foundation and the Pacific Symphony. Uh, it's one of the most uh, sentimental moments for me is that this year, because of everything that's happening in Iran, I did not even make a uh, half scene for myself. But tonight, being here with Susan Dehim, with Ostad Kehan Kalhor, Ostad Shardo Rouhani, with Ahmad Pejman, and also, of course, um, Carl Sinclair, and all the amazing orchestra musicians. Somehow I felt that with my friends in the audience and everybody, that even being far away from our homeland, this connection of roots, I felt it in tonight's performance and being with friends and artists. So this night was incredibly memorable for me. Tonight was such a beautiful night. I've had the luxury of performing here before with Pacific Symphony Orchestra, but I've never been able to perform the Noru's concert and to feel my people on that stage applauding and seeing me dance and represent Iran and being a Persian woman. I really don't have the words for that experience. It was uh, transcendent and it was a really, really 
beautiful um, energy and I, I could feel the future of Iran. I could feel it in my feet, I could feel it in my fingers, my, my eyes and before I knew it I was done dancing and I just loved when I ripped the hijab off and everybody started to applaud and um, I, I felt so welcomed and I have to say that that's such an honor for me being a ballerina, being of Persian descent. I've never felt welcomed as an Iranian within my arena and so to dance for my people in point shoes here at the Circustrum was um, a dream come true, truly. It was a very, very special night just because we are in the middle of uh, the upheaval in Iran and while we're celebrating Nowruz. And so um, it was really important to at least emotionally connect to what's happening in Iran and uh, just contribute, contribute to the efforts of uh, the youth, women and everything that's happening in Iran especially right now where we really, really need each other. We need each other in every possible way. We need to be together. We need to make sure people in Iran understand that, you know, we may have lives everywhere in the world, but we're so attentive to what's happening in Iran. Collaboration with Farhang for me is, uh, is Farhang is my family. They've supported my work. They supported one of my most important projects with Furuk Farukzad. And I, I really appreciate their efforts uh, to support the artists and bring in interesting, innovative art to Los Angeles. And right now, I mean, of course, uh, they have a voice that's much more of an international voice. And uh, all together with Pacific Symphony is one of the best orchestras in the world. I've sang with some interesting orchestras, but it's definitely an amazing pleasure to work with them, and especially with Carl, because Carl is a real like genuine musical heart and he's really into progressive music music that opens the doors for the future generation so it's it's, a, it's an honor to to be part of this night i don't know what else to say and i'm not exaggerating it's really very special It's been four years or four times that I am participating in, in one way or another. And um, so every time is different, but, but the result and, and the way you touch people's heart is basically the same. And, and I can't tell you how happy I am that we are able to show that to the society that we live in. I'm glad that we, with the help of Farhang, can show a different side of Iranians and different side of Iran that maybe not, you know, many people, or especially people who are not Iranian, non-Iranians, don't know about it. Iran was a very advanced country in many, many aspects, especially in music, in art, in literature. And now that we're able to show that, this is, uh, with the help of, of Farhang, this is a, a, a amazing and I'm so uh, uh, glad that I'm part of it. And again, I, I have to applaud Farhang Foundation and, and Pacific Symphony Orchestra and um, everybody who are behind, you know, behind this great performances. <laughs>